few brand names do a better job of evoking luxury and exclusivity than Ducati, the Italian maker of super high-end racing-inspired motorcycles. Here's a company, one that's ultimately a subsidiary of Volkswagen, with a long history of innovation, and I think they can give us a terrific read on the kind of luxuries that people are willing to shell out for right now in this environment. Now, earlier this week, Ducati unveiled its 2018 lineup in Milan, and the next day at Dreamforce, I got a chance to speak with Jason Chinnick. He's the CEO of Ducati North America. Take a look. I think of your brand, Ducati, as being exclusive, as being great design, but how do you convey that to younger people? Because younger people need to know right now how they should and why they should know Ducati. Ducati is a brand that's heritage is based in sport. And when you think about youth, people want to connect with something that actually makes them feel young and vibrant and be part of, be part of a culture and a community where they get a chance to also express themselves. So this is what motorcycling is, and in Ducati offers that at the, at the highest level in terms of being part of that sporty nature. You know, between the racing and all of the different product lineup that we bring to market, it gives, it, it gives us a chance to be able to connect with them, not only through the product, but also through some of the technology that we're introducing to the product and how we're developing our relationship with the customer. Okay, Italian company, you run North America. How does a North American 18 to 25 year old discover Ducati? It's a good question. It's actually an industry challenge overall. Yes. Particularly I mean, because you know there's another couple competitors that have the demographic that's mine. Yep. And, you know, I love my demographic, but that doesn't, you don't catch them early. No, definitely not. You know, through one of the things that we've been doing is really through product. We brought in a new line a few years ago called Scrambler. And what it is, it's the idea that it's something that's an endorsed brand from Ducati. It's a bit post heritage, which is a bit fashionable right, right. now. But it's unintimidating. It's an inviting. It's when you look at one of those motorcycles, you smile. And so the product is part of it, but it's also communicating with them through the channels that these guys frequent, and it's largely social media. You know, when we look at the Scrambler line, not one cent has been put to print advertising. Not one cent. Not one cent. It's exclusively digital. Facebook, digital, a direct Facebook, to consumer. Instagram, direct, a little bit of direct to consumer, but really what but it boils Instagram. down to is Instagram. So where would I see it? Uh, ScramblerDucati.com. It ends up we end up doing a little bit of ad uh, ad buy here that will pop up in the feed, and we just basically find the things that we believe that they would connect with outside of motorcycling. And with that brand, we also don't look at motorcycling as being the the uh, the continuity. It's right. something that's whether it's music or fashion or food or kind of the maker lifestyle, something that's a little bit different, and we connect with them that way. And we also bring that direct to them in environments where maybe we would be unexpected, like surf contests or pop-up stores. Surf and, oh yeah, absolutely, really? music festivals. And it helps bring people do, into motorcycles. Okay, so do you work with Live Nation? How do you know what a music festival would have Ducati people? We're, we're actually, we don't- You're we don't, agnostic. Yeah, well, we work on a little bit of more of an underground level, more well, guerrilla, guerrilla ask style. Because, reason I ask, because Salesforce uh, has combined with Live Nation to be able to get a certain demo in that otherwise wouldn't know. Yep. And I figured Salesforce must be doing that for you too. Well, actually not directly with Live Nation, oh. but, but we're working with them in terms of how that we're going to, how we're going to get to know the customer better. Okay. Uh, more so, it's more about once we have the customer, how do we keep them and so how do we it, learn about it's them? It's not just iron that no, you're selling. No, 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 it's a brand, it's a lifestyle. Right. I mean, product is part of it. The motorcycle is just a piece. In fact, I tell our dealers and salespeople in our organization, all the motorcycle is, is it's the gateway to, the, to enter into the world of the brand. The brand of Ducati, the brand of Scrambler. And once they come in, it's now our job to nurture them, to take care of them, to get them to develop into a customer that can work their way throughout our product lineup, but also give them experiences that are more than just the machine, because we want them to use it. You know, right. those days of, of $40,000, $50,000 choppers that are beautifully built and sit in the garage and collect dust, that's a waste of time. Right. We want people to ride it, we want people to experience it. Now, uh, one thing that I, I be another company in your industry, has apparel that I think has now been tapped for people who are older, 50s, 60s on the road. Ducati apparel is youthful apparel. Absolutely, I mean it's either we, we have a kind of a mix of things, things that are technical that are really meant for riding, right. but even then, you know, it's designed with Italian fashion sense. Right. Uh, we work with a couple specific designers, a gentleman, Aldria Drudy, uh, Drudy, that makes the designs for our most of our technical stuff, but then when we get into the position of our lifestyle elements, it is very youthful. It's either sporting uh, or casual. Mm -hmm. 
but it's an element where people get to wear the brand and promote the brand off the bike. Well, uh, one last question. Italian company, U.S., and uh, this has historically been a U.S.-made product that people like, you've been, you've been able to make it more universal. You're, through, through what, I'm sorry? How have you been able to make your brand more universal oh. so someone doesn't say, I'm not buying Italian? It's an interesting concept, and really what it's been is that it's been the breadth of the product that we brought out. You know, when some people get themselves pigeonholed with what they're known for, it's like if we were a manufacturer that just built pickups, right. and that's all we're known for, then you have risks of fluctuations in the market of whether people are buying that product. We've diversified our product right. offering a lot over the last 10 years, and we do build a cruiser. But we build a Ducati cruiser, it's a power cruiser. You know, we're pushing almost 160 horsepower. So then we get away from the not for me conversation. Gotcha. And the diversity of the product lineup has been a big element that has helped us and shape our new customers for the future. Excellent. I want to thank Jason Chinnick. He's the CEO of Ducati North America. Also, thank you for serving, because I know you were tank commander, Desert Storm. Yes, sir. Thank Excellent. you. Thank you.